York as we know it all began with the Romans. They created, lived and ruled the city for three centuries, starting back in 71 AD. The Roman Empire may have faded, but the legacy certainly lives on. And now the legions of Rome have returned to invade the city. We have a gathering here behind me of legions who all served in Britain. Each of the men carries the name of an actual soldier that served here in Britain during the Roman invasions. Different periods we have from the front with our standards of excellence on the first century to the arrival of 43 AD to 100 AD and then at the far end we have the 410 AD representation at a time when the legions give up on Britain as an economic failure and leave these isles. So today we are bringing that to the streets of York by parading through past the Minster and hooking back to the museum to let people know their Roman heritage has returned. The Eberacum Festival is all to celebrate the Roman history of York but why is the city so significant? York is, 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 is one of, of a handful of walled cities. It's one of a, of a very small handful of historic cities in the UK. You'd be surprised how few there actually are. But it's such a beautiful city. It's had continuous occupation since the Romans, the Vikings moved in. It's just been a continuous place. It's been a, a principal city of Britain all through its history. It, it's just such an amazing venue and it, it's great to bring that depth of history here. You'll, it's like a big layer cake. You know, what's under your feet? is the lives of people who lived and died and struggled and, and lived well here at York. And visitors didn't seem to be disappointed. I think it's fantastic. I think it, it's really good. We've just watched the, uh, the Birds of Prey and um, I'm hoping I'm going to bump into a few Romans and have my photos open <laughs> down the centre. I think it's smashing. Um, it's a, it's a lovely day for people that are visiting because we, we're visiting from, I'm visiting from Sheffield. Didn't expect this to be going off, so I think it's great. <laughs> well, I'm actually impressed by the whole thing, but especially the structures here behind us. It's just, it's just something special to see. It's fabulous. I think it's great fun. Really enjoying seeing them walking around the city and following them. <laughs> yeah, really enjoy this. I didn't know it was on, so it was a pleasant surprise. We came to see the museum. Um, and it was really good, yes, I mean, learnt a lot. I mean, I'm not heavily into Romans, but um, the Roman encampment, I think, was the best bit. For some, it was a chance to learn more about the historic Roman past. I've come here today to see friends uh, from the Sixth Legion and uh, to do a bit of research, because um, on the 20th of July in Bruff, which used to be called in Roman times Petuaria, we're having what we call our Right Roman Weekend. And we've got the Sixth Legion camping over on the best playing field where the garrison used to be. So it's the first time in 2,000 years that the Romans have actually stayed on the best playing field in Bruff. So it's, uh, it's interesting, interesting times and uh, really looking forward to it. And I'm hoping to take away with us from this fantastic festival some ideas that we could bring to it for us. The impact of Roman life can still be seen in York today. And through celebrating the history of the city, the past will be kept alive for years to come. Abby Walker, That's TV.